Hey friends, welcome to the channel, and I just want to give my brief thoughts on Overwatch 2. Um, I I really enjoyed Overwatch, actually. Uh, to me, though, it is a game I need to play with friends, so I did not play it as much as I would have if I had a full squad always ready to play. Uh, but with Overwatch 2 coming out, I had to get my hands on it and feel it, and these are my thoughts and everything and news as I go over some of the things going around Reddit and the other platforms. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Here we go. My initial thoughts on Overwatch. Um, I think this right here says it all. Overwatch 2 isn't a sequel. It's a marketing gimmick. So, as soon as they announced Overwatch 2 about a year ago, I kind of got into it. Played it again. And I read some, I watched that whole like two hour video they made talking about all the characters, the maps, etc. Going over all the changes. And I thought Overwatch 2 from that video, it looked like they were really going to make some changes that would make it feel like a second Overwatch. But, and I know that this is going around everywhere and everyone's saying it, but it's just because it's everywhere, it shows the truthfulness of it. Really, this is just a marketing gimmick. Unfortunately, they have not made enough changes to warrant Overwatch 2. And hey, the marketing gimmick is working, even with that flawed beginning with the Q times and the DDoS attack, which, you know, how much was that was their fault? You know, could they have been more defensive about it? Who knows? But, you know, at the end of the day, people are still going to be mad at Blizzard for allowing that to happen. And it just kind of is, it's just a symbol of how this game is turning out to be. It's going to turn out to be, I think. <clears throat> For me, I feel like there's one change that could have saved this game that you know would have taken years prior to f to do. It's just maps, personally. You know, if you're gonna make a second game, like example, let's talk about you know COD, uh, Black Ops One to Black Ops Two, right? Much of the base of the game similar. Uh, they added new features in terms of technology to that game, uh, but yeah, it, the feel was the same, right? If they're going to make a second Overwatch 2, I'm not expecting the UI to change too much. I think what they did with that it looks great. It's very polished and fine. And when, I, when I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, this feels like Overwatch 2. So if we're going to go over UI, great. Uh, the base mechanics of the game, I feel um, we don't you don't need a big change to call it Overwatch 2. That's not what people are looking for. Because the base game Overwatch 1 is so popular, so well done, it feels great. Uh, I don't expect any changes. The changes they made, trying to make it turn more into an FPS game, um, turning it from 6 to 5. I know a lot of people don't like that, especially c the competitive community didn't like that, you know, as they just, I'm not sure how many teams there are, but they literally just deleted one player from every team, saying, hey, you lost your job. Every tank. One tank from each team lost their job, basically. And But personally... I really enjoy the change. I feel like it makes the game less chaotic. Even though it's still chaotic, it's just a little bit more maintainable. With COD, we have, on Call of Duty, we have four players on the competitive. And that is like a great amount of um, chaos when you have 4v4s. We saw like in Black Ops, in Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare 2019, we saw them go up to five and that was too much and no one likes it. So I think Overwatch 5, I think with five players on Overwatch, that's a great step. Honestly, could four people be even better? Maybe. Um, it's possible. But the, you know, going over it, the everything about this game is fine. It's just, but it's also, it's just the maps. But I'm going to include the practice, the practice range and everything. Um, UI, mechanics, everything's great. Uh, adding through new heroes, great. We need some more supports, by the way. But <clears throat> we need... All new maps. If you're going to call this Overwatch 2, this is the only thing that brings me anger. So my first time getting into the game, I play just the normal mode, um, unranked mode. And my first four maps, or maybe five. No, I'm going to say my first five maps were all maps for Overwatch 1. Okay, at that point, by the third map, playing the same map I've played for the last four years or whatever... I think the game came out 2017 is what they said is what I looked so five years uh, playing the same maps is just I literally felt like I was playing Overwatch one and if they had new maps all new maps cut out all the old maps 
If they were able to just do that, I think all their issues would be gone. Now, we're still going to have people who, you know, we're seeing online that people are review bombing it, so everyone's just crashing it. And I don't think that would be the case if they just had new maps. No one else expects anything else. And then all they do is add one other game mode. If I'm correct, I'm pretty sure they, they've added one game mode to the competitive uh, queue, and that's literally it. They added three heroes, one game mode. Again, if we had all new maps, I don't think there'd be any issues with this. Um, it would feel like a new game because I'm actually playing in different areas. Now, on the push maps, I played that queue for a while, and those are all new maps, so that felt like I was playing a new game. But when I'm playing the normal mode and I'm playing on the same effing maps, it is literally the worst decision they could have made. And I think this all stems around the maps. And I haven't heard too many people say that. So um, I'm interested why. I'm surprised how many people are, are mad about the things I talked about with you know the UI or whatever they're talking about. I'm surprised maps has not been the, like, the number one point of discussion because that could fix all the issues in my, in my own personal opinion. So, I mean, yeah, so they made slight changes to all the heroes. It's just all these things could have been done in its own little update instead of, like, a whole new season yearly update, which is why it feels like a gimmick. If I feel like those, again, beating the tree, if we had a new maps, all this would go, be gone away. Um, and then if we go over to um, the bugs, so... <clears throat> Every new game is expected to have bugs. This game just feels like an update, so there shouldn't be bugs. But the whole DDoS attack cues is just a symbol for how this game has been started off. Uh, getting into a queue with 4,000 people is an immediate letdown. And then being kicked out of it. So I feel like it's the non-communication factor of Blizzard. All they said on the Blizzard website, on the Blizzard.net, it says some players are experiencing problems with queue times, etc. So, but they never said, you know, you might be kicked out. They never gave you exactly what could happen to you. And they never fully closed down the 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 game, which I feel like they should have. Because seeing only streamers playing the game and no players being able to get into the game, it just shows you that uh, they're trying to hide the fact of how bad it's going. If we allow the streamers to be playing the game then at least people can watch it. And I, I get their perspective. I get why they do it. It makes sense. But it just sucks. You know, they have this huge... Like I said, this was just a marketing gimmick to get people in the game, and then they couldn't even satisfy the players trying to get into the game because of this attack. Which, you know, could they have been more defensive? Like I said in the beginning, who knows? Um, but it always surprises me when a huge corporation like this can be attacked like that and how they don't fix it sooner. So that's the other thing. After the attack, the oh, what's his name? One of the one of the head directors at Overwatch made a tweet like six hours after the problem started, saying we're trying our hardest to fix this. We were attacked, uh, and then they didn't. Even, that's all they literally said. So they didn't even say, hey, maybe don't try to get on. You know, there's gonna be a lot of issues, or like giving us some form of um, like this could be a problem for you. So. We'll hopefully have this time frame, you know, given a time frame to, to, so that we have something to look forward to. But nothing, literally nothing. <clears throat> um, and again, like, you know, Overwatch is not a game that I hold to my heart as, you know, like looking back on my time playing video games, Overwatch is not a game that I look back as this is one of my top five games. But it is a game that's fun and has a huge following and the competitive is fun to watch. But again, just, just flaws here. Um, you know, then they were out for three hours on Thursday, which was good because after that, we finally got to get in the game and feel safe being in it, not being disconnected. And again, you know, it just feels like Overwatch. Personally, I feel like the time to kill is faster. It might be because I always played supports in my past, but I swear the time to kill is faster. I want, I need to look up a video or something see if someone's talked about it. I tried Googling it, finding it on Twitter or anywhere, and it just, there's not much going up about it. But I swear to all that's holy that the time to kill is faster. Um, and then the other big thing is the battle pass. I'm so glad they get that they got off loot boxes. 
and on to the battle pass. I think the battle pass is much better. You know what you're working towards. If I recall, this game came out right before battle passes became popular in the first Overwatch. So it was just kind of bad timing. Or, you know, they weren't able to figure that out before uh, Fortnite and everyone else did. But, yeah, battle pass is a great change for, you know, get some free cosmetics instead of having just hope. Um, it was fun every, like, two levels of getting a loot box, though. But it is nice seeing what's coming ahead that you can get for free. Or if you want to purchase, you know exactly what you can get instead of scamming little children out of money, which is great. Um, but yeah, overall, honestly, it's literally Overwatch 1. If, you know, as I expected, though, you know, as I freaking expected, I did not expect the game to change. It's not like going into this, I was expecting everything to change. I was expecting the maps to change because when watching that Overwatch 1 video, I don't recall them saying, hey, we're going to keep most of our competitive maps, but just add, I think they're adding eight, and probably a lot of those are push maps, so who knows how, you know, pushing the cargo, how many of those maps are changed, I know there's probably a few from that video I watched, but, um, you know, again, playing five maps straight of old maps is just sucky, dude, it's the worst, um, I think, I'm sure Blizzard right now is glad Xbox is buying them out so they don't have to keep hearing these songs being played to them and hearing uh, the crap and hopefully they can start rolling out some new maps kitting out the old ones but you know if people aren't bringing it up then they won't do it so that's just my opinion that's the issue here with blizzard overwatch 2 uh, if you like overwatch 1 you'll like this i mean having one less person i feel like just makes the game a little bit more sensible a little more less chaotic more containable understanding what's going on in the game and with the time to kill feeling faster to me i feel like that's a nice added change as just constantly hitting people and having them healed and i mean it still happens in this game and i think uh that's one of the charms of this game but being able to like quickly kill someone maybe i'm just better at shooting heads i don't know but uh, i have been enjoying this more than i enjoyed overwatch one because of the time to kill and it's a little more contain it's a little more controllable so gameplay, I give it's it, I give an added bonus to that. But lastly, maps we've got to fix it. You've got to update, move out old maps, bring in new. That's got to be priority number one after they fix all of the bugs and queue times and everything else. So uh, yeah, that's my review of Overwatch Two. If I if anything else comes out about it that I feel strongly, I'll make a video. But yeah, please give me your comments down below of what you think was bad or good about it, and thanks for watching, and bless you.